Hi there and welcome to this day in history for March 25th. March 25th is the 84th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 85th in leap years, with 281 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is quarantine. This is a word we've heard quite a bit lately in the news and I thought it would bear examination. Of course, the understanding that we have of quarantine is that it's isolation to prevent the spread of infectious disease or to be forced into isolation, particularly for health reasons. Upon deeper examination, we find that historically quarantine lasted 40 days, as the word itself is originally derived from Latin quadriginta, quadriginta, which means 40, and in this context is used specifically to refer to a 40-day period of isolation. Such isolation could be the time that a widow would be allowed to remain in her dead husband's home, or the period of time a ship might have to wait off port if any of the passengers were ill, a practice which may have had its origins in the days of the Black Death, the plague in the 1300s. We've mentioned that before. Nowadays, a quarantine can be of any length of time and can be used as a verb or a noun. I'd like to take this moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes. Encourage you to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Stay to the end for outtakes and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Remember also that you can share this video with a link in an email or through social media. And with that, we're going to start in 1306 when Robert the Bruce became King of Scots in Scotland. On March 25th, Sir Walter Raleigh was granted a patent to colonize Virginia, 1584. That's a long time ago. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, was discovered by Christian Huygens on March 25th, 1655. This is the birthday of American Naval Officer John Barry, considered to be the father of the American Navy. He was born on March 25th, 1745, and he lived to the age of 58. On March 25th, 1774, the British Parliament passed the Boston Port Act closing the Port of Boston and demanding that the city's residents pay for the nearly $1 million worth, in today's money, of the tea dumped into Boston Harbor during the Boston Tea Party of December 16, 1773. I didn't get the exact amount that they were looking for, but it translates to a $1 million in today's money, and that's a lot. What that tells me is that, yes, tea was expensive. This was one of the things that Parliament had demanded you can only get it from us and there will be an expensive tax on it as we've talked about a few times in the last few days. The Slave Trade Act became law on March 25, 1807, abolishing slave trade in the British Empire. This was the day of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire in New York City on March 25, 1911. 146 garment workers died in this fire. This fire also led to legislation requiring improved factory safety standards and helped spur the growth of the International Ladies Garment Workers Union which fought for better working conditions for sweatshop workers. The building where this happened still stands, is located near Washington Square Park, and has been designated a National Historic Landmark and a New York City Landmark. So next time you're in New York City, if you want to, you can go by there and have a look at it. This is the birthday of journalist, author, radio personality, columnist, sports commentator, lawyer, and television personality, Howard Cosell, born March 25, 1918. He lived to the age of 77. Also the birthday of American short story writer and novelist Flannery O'Connor, born March 25, 1925. She only lived to the age of 39 due to complications from lupus. Interestingly, her childhood home is a house museum in Savannah, Georgia. So if you're planning a trip to Savannah, or thereabouts, consider giving yourself enough time to go visit the Flannery O'Connor Childhood Home at 
207 East Charleston Street on Lafayette Square. American captain, pilot, and astronaut Jim Lovell was born on March 25, 1928. God bless him, he's still alive as I read this in 2020 and he turns 91 today. <laughs> Looks like a good day for interesting birthdays. This is the birthday of American singer, songwriter, and actor Hoyt Axton, born in Duncan, Oklahoma on March 25th, 1938. He passed in 1999 at the age of 66. I've linked his song, Never Been to Spain, in the show notes for you. This one is performed actually by Hoyt Axton. That song was also covered by Three Dog Night and Waylon Jennings and probably others as well. Yugoslavia joined the Axis powers on March 25th, 1941. The Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, was born on March 25th, 1942. She passed in 2018 at the age of 76. And the hits just keep on coming. <laughs> English singer-songwriter, pianist, producer, and actor Elton John was born March 25th, 1947. Still alive as I read this in 2020, he turns 73 today. Of course, if you're watching this at some point later in history, he turns 73 in 2020. <laughs> On March 25, 1948, the first successful tornado forecast predicted that a tornado would strike the Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma. On March 25, 1955, the U.S. Customs Department confiscated 520 copies of Allen Ginsberg's book Howl. It had been printed in England, but they confiscated it because they felt it was obscene. I haven't read it, so I don't know. On March 25, 1965, the Civil Rights March led by Martin Luther King Jr. successfully completed the four-day, 50-mile march from Selma to the capital of Montgomery in Alabama. And on March 25, 1967, Martin Luther King Jr led a march against the Vietnam War. And I think that's gonna do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching. Remember that links to my research are included in the show notes. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video. While you're here, check out my other channel, 8 Susquehanna. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Out here in Fort Worth, we are allowed and even encouraged to collect rainwater. I hear a happy little bird out there making lots of noise. I hope you can hear me. Okay, we gotta make that go to sleep. We'll do that in a minute. And we'll probably leave that part out. <laughs> so many mistakes. We're not gonna go into all that, okay. I don't know how all that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Yeah, we're going to cut those out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up.